I'm Kevin Butler, American Red Cross correspondent, and I'm going to show you how to survive a blizzard. A blizzard is defined as a giant snowstorm with at least 35 mile per hour winds and low visibility for a quarter mile. Blizzards, are, blizzards typically occur when the jet stream sags well to the south, allowing cold polar air from the north to clash with warm humid air to the south. Ugh. Due to the conflicting air masses, high winds develop and storm, uh, storms can erupt, sometimes turning into full-blown blizzards. Places such as the Great Lakes and northern New England experience more frequently than the rest of the country. Although blizzards Although blizzards have been known in Although blizzards have been known to extend as far south as Texas Panhandle, due to the effects of mild Pacific waters, blizzards are less common along the west coast. The storm of 1977 was formed with, from an extra tropical cyclone off the coast of South Carolina. On February 5th, an Arctic cold front and the cold air mass uh, then merged with the storm, creating, uh, creating the perfect ingredients for a large and intense low pressure system. Uh, uh, the storm system made, it, uh, made its way up the coast and approached southern New England late February 6th and early February 7th. Uh, it is known as one of the greatest storms in our history, creating record winds and record snowfall. Oh, pah, just hitting my nose. Oh, oh. It produced 111 mile, mile per hour winds and record setting snowfall around 26 feet. Oh, oh. It is currently the record in New England. Why does can occur at any moment? Ugh. Why does create low visibility for roughly a quarter mile and you can't see anything until you're right on top of it? The snow just gets everywhere! Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! Hi, I'm American Red Cross correspondent Kevin Butler. And we are currently at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. I'm going to show you some photos of what could happen if you were caught in a blizzard. This photo right here is from a direct result of high snow accumulation from a blizzard. This can leave you stranded in your house for weeks on end. You better have food and water. This car crash right here is a direct result from a whiteout. Some whiteouts have been reported to have you see shorter than five feet in front of you. And this is what you want to avoid at all costs. If you do find yourself in, your, in this situation, you will be stranded in your car. You better have food and water. And that's where I come in. Dun, 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 dun. As a practical safety precaution, you should put food and water in your vehicle during the winter months. If you're ever in a blizzard and you're stranded in your car, stay put. I cannot stress that enough. In order to be safe and survive the storm, you have to stay in your vehicle with your food that you safely prepared and your water that you safely gathered before. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was my urine bottle. I forgot to label my urine bottle. Make sure you label your urine bottle. Oh, 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 oh that was disgusting. Alright, make sure you turn your 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 engine. Oh, blah, that's disgusting. Make sure you turn your engine on periodically to warm the car, but don't leave it on because you could potentially get carbon monoxide CO for you chemists out there to the cabin that comes from the exhaust pipe not being able to clear that carbon monoxide incapacitating you and killing you 
in the aftermath of the snow blizzard, you're gonna have to clear out your house. I've made a model because it's fall. Duh. So, you're gonna take your shovel and you're gonna shovel out around your house to make space. And that's all you can do. It's gonna take a buttload of time. You're gonna have to clear out your car. I've got a car right here and it's nice and clear but you gotta shovel underneath it too and then you gotta clear out the road and that's all gonna take time now you can drive off into the sunset where you gonna go from? we're filming yeah I know but where are we? okay um what did my body look like? like this yeah hi You're on. In the aftermath of the snow, yes, I said buttload. You're gonna have to clear. That's me. Lizard, you're gonna have to clear out your house. I've made a model because it's fall.